So it's come time to rent the old Andrew house out. So I'm gonna uh, we're gonna clean out the back part of the old barn here, and uh, this will be our weekend weekend retreat. Got a little entranceway I made here. We got a little wood stove in here. I gotta get my tire machine out of here. Bring it to Edmonton, I guess. Put it in the front yard. Paint it up nice. Gotta get all my tires out of here. And uh, so this was the weak point of the tire machine was these side pieces because you've only got four bolts holding it down and you put a lot of leverage on this guy. I uh, I'm gonna weld at least these side pieces. I'll probably weld these two just because it's been this long and I haven't uh, haven't needed to take it apart. But I mean. These are almost okay tight, but you can see through there the bolt has actually like pulled the steel up. Like one bolt is not enough there. I'm going to have to unbolt it and hammer that out and then uh, bolt it back together and weld it. It's a big pain. But that will make this super tire machine. And then this was a big weakness when I bought it. It, uh, these little, these bars would, I mean, didn't have these black bars, just red bars, straight. Should have been angle iron right from the start because they would just fold off to the side, one side or the other. I weld these supports on and they've worked awesome. But besides that, this tire machine is awesome. It's done uh, hundreds of tires, seriously. And the ATV tires don't fit up here, but, or some of them don't. Some of them do. Some of them do. But it still breaks speed, which is a big help. This other side is even cracking worse. Really happy I got to weld this now. Yeah, I stick weld this because it's uh, cause it's pretty thick. bother removing any paint or nothing because uh, 6011 just burns off. It's good shit. I just welded the whole thing, took the bolts out, did some plug welds in there. I'm just gonna spray it with some zinc primer and paint a fire engine red like it was. But like I said, this is the first item that needs attention on this thing if you buy one. And you could you could bolt angle iron to these if uh, if you didn't have a welder. So I got her all done, it still looks pretty well used, but uh, it's gonna just continue to get well used. Worked out all right.